Hey, we're live. Hey, everyone. Welcome. It is Tuesday night, the second Tuesday of the month, which means it's time for Lori and Christine. Yay. How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing great tonight. Um, we're very excited to be doing this again this month. So, and I, third month in a row. Yeah, I know. How about that? That's, that's a pretty good thing. Um, the first thing I just wanted to tell everybody is to tell you, you probably already know, but I am the slowest um, invoicer and packer that you've ever met. And I admit that very much. Um, I do have some medical issues that sometimes makes me slow down. So I want to apologize right now of how slow I am. However, saying that, if you have purchased something from me and you need it quickly, all you have to do is send me an email and I will do my best to get it out fast. So I just wanted to make that clear. And also, right down here, the screen. bottom of the screen is our email address. So... That's what you needed to know. Christine, you got anything? I just thought I'd start saying hi to some people coming in. I know Patricia was in here, and she was wondering if we had any kitty cats tonight. I told her I have one. Do you have any kitty cats? I don't have cats tonight. No. Well, I seem to be on a dog theme. <laughs> I don't and, know why, but. And Gabrielle is here, and I saw Michelle was listening. Uh Beth is here, and we have um, Barbara from Winking Owl Antiques. Sorry, Barbara, my mind just went for a second there. And I see Blind by Beauty is here. Am I missing anyone? Thank you, guys. Welcome. Huh? Oh, hi, Mom. I thought I said hi. My parents are here, too. So tonight is just one of our typical live sales. Real quick, if you've not done been to a live sale before, we'll show you an item and we'll say a number. The first one to type that number into the chat that we see on our side wins that item. Make sure you are in live chat and not top chat because live chat will be up to the minute. You will typically always see yourself first, so you may want to refresh. Um, I do not have any offer ups tonight. Lori may have one. So when we get to that, we will explain it. Oh, hi, Rose, and hi, Stephanie, and Amy, and Calypso Antiques, and uh, Mickey, Thrifton, and the Holler. Everyone's popping in. Diane Broderick just came in. Welcome, everyone. Everyone's hopping in. Um, hi, everyone. And uh, shipping. Shipping is not included in the prices. Lori and I do both ship from Florida, but we will be combining shipping because we don't live next to each other, and it just gets a bit crazy. So if you buy from Lori, make sure you email her. Her email is under her photo, and my email is under my photo. Um, like I said in my last sale, I had some computer issues. So even if you have bought from me in the past, could you please just still shoot me your information? You can even do it now if you want to. Your YouTube name, your real name, your address, and your PayPal for invoicing. Because I did lose some information on my computer, and I'm starting a new address book for you guys. How about you, Lori? The same yeah, the same for me. If you could just go ahead and, and shoot me your name and, and address and information. Um, I'm creating a new book, so that would be really helpful. And I see Sweet Nate has popped in. Judy's popped in. Janice. Hi, everybody. Everyone's joining the party. Are you guys ready hey. for fun? And I will just let you all know, um, I have been feeling just a tiny bit off today. So if I vanish for any reason, my husband, John, who's helping out, may hop on just for a few minutes until I am back. Or Lori will just keep going and sell all her stuff. You know, we'll wing it. This is, you know, real life happening now. That's right. You got so, it. And right now, guys, at the beginning, if you have a YouTube channel or, or any um, sales coming up you want to post about, you're welcome to do that at the beginning and towards the end of the sale. We just don't do that during the middle because sometimes the chat really goes fast and it's hard for our team members to um, catch the numbers. We want to make sure uh, we catch whoever is purchasing items correctly. So but otherwise you're welcome to share your information or even after the video, you can leave it in the comment section. And then right after our sale, we have Kim at Oh My Vintage has a sale at six. And then Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures, did I say that right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. I, I'm sorry. I always get thrilled with Thrift and Thrifting Adventures. I apologize, Stephanie. But Stephanie has um, Mary on her channel tonight at 8 o'clock. So there's lots of great sales. So we're going to kind of hop in so we can get you to all those later on this evening. And Lori is going to start. Lori, do you want full screen? Uh, that's up to you. Your email will show better. Okay, go ahead. Maybe just for the first one. Yeah, we'll see how it looks. Yeah. Okay. My first item that I have this evening is going to be this Sprite. You can see the little Sprite sitting in there and sitting in a log planter. This is not marked. Oh, I take that back. Yes, it is. It's marked right there, Japan. It's really cute. You can see it looks just like a log. And like I said, this is a little sprite inside there. Not to be confused with a pixie or an elf or any of those folks. These are entirely different, <laughs> an inter interesting um, little strain of little people. So just to let you know, there's no chips and no cracks. Um, he's in really perfect condition too. This is going to be $15, $15 for number 21, number 21 for the Sprite planter. My second, second thing is going to be this little trinket tray, a beautiful little owl. He's probably four inches, just small little trinket. He is made in Japan. So he is, he's from Japan. Really nice, no chips, no cracks, no flea bites, nothing. So this is gonna be $8, $8 for number 25. Number 25. And I see Diane brought gets number 21. Thank you, Bro Diane. Okay. My next item. And I really like this item. This is a strawberry, a strawberry pocket for the wall. But to me, it just looks so, it looks good enough to eat. It looks just like a little tart, a strawberry tart. It is really cute. It has no chips, no flea bites, nothing on it. It was made by Lifton in 1984. I can show you the inside. I do have paper in there right now, but it is clean. That it is does adorable. say left. Isn't it? Oh, I love this. <laughs> it's made by Lefton. Really, really sweet. It's $12 and it's number six. $12, number six. And we said four, Christine, or five? Yep. Four, right? So this is the last one, yeah? Yep. Yeah. These are so cute. These are salt and pepper shakers. Look, look at that side eye. Is that not something to marvel at? These are salt and pepper shakers. They don't have their stoppers. I might have some. So I will go and look in my trove of stoppers to see if they I can find them. But there's no chips. This is the back of them. There's no chips on either one of them. You can see the paint. They both have their ears painted with that little green design. And these cute salt and peppers are gonna be $15 for number 14. $15 for number 14. Thank you. And I see Judy Scallet got one of... Thank you. Got the strawberry and Connie got 14. Okay. All righty. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. 
So how about we start with a little picture frame. This is a really cute ceramic butterfly picture frame. I will say it does have a slight hairline on this side right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's kind of like a little, but it's just a cute little picture frame. These I found before are typically Japan pieces. You just put the photo in the center right there. But I thought with spring or for a kid's room, this would be adorable. It's about five inches tall by four inches across is the actual frame. But the photo is like a two and a half by three and a quarter. So for the butterfly frame, it's $5 and number 72. Hi, Katie and hi, Cindy. Everyone hopping in. Welcome, welcome. Lori, Judy's checking. Do you see that? I see Judy's scallops. And then after that, we'll see all C's. I see CLC was first. Uh, Bible and not their uh, They're trying to verify who came in first on the screen. CLC. Okay. We show Connie came in first on our side for number 14. Mm hmm. Okay. So Thank next. You. Up, the CLC. Mm hmm. Next up, since this is the cat figurine I have this evening, giving you a little bit of side eye. It's just a cute little ceramic kitty. I'm trying to see. There is a little paint wear on the ear here, so that's not a chip. It's just a little paint loss. Mm -hmm. it has a super cute face. And this guy is, let me see. He's about six and a quarter inches tall, half inches. So it's a six by two figurine. So the cat is going to be $8 and number 80. $8 number 80 for the cat. That was item two. How about some rabbits? Some rabbit figurines, and they are Lennox. Now, I do have two of these, so two people can win them. The first two people to type in the number will each get one rabbit, and I only did it that way because these are identical. And they are Lennox, and they say Lennox. Well, it says Lennox, Lennox. I thought it had another name under it. But they're just these cute little white ceramic rabbits with the blue flowers. And I believe I see Rose got the cat. John, Rose Spangenberger. And who got the picture frame? Oh, that was an error. Okay. Sorry, guys. We're just trying to keep it straight. So for the rabbits, like I said, um, the first two people to type in the number, they're going to be $5 and number 75 for the for the Lennox rabbits. They're in great condition. They have the cute little gold detailing on the flower. So the first two people to type 75 each get one rabbit. I want one of those rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> I see Rose got one. Well, if the other one doesn't sell, Lori. Up, oh, and Janice Stevens got the second one. Sorry, Congratulations. Lori. That's okay. So I have, I think, one more item. Let me do, how about Humpty Dumpty? So this I is- I remember those. <laughs> this is the 1970s plastic Humpty yeah. Dumpty production cups. He is a little faded. You know, he probably like sat in a car or something. So the back is faded, you can see, but there's no cracks or damage. It's just aged. But I thought this was just super cute. I love the neon colors on him. So this guy is going to be $7 and number 84. Your pets will love it. My cats are going nuts. Are they really? <laughs> That's very cute. And that was my item number four. So let me remember to take myself out. And did you want to do the half screen, Lori, or go back to... This is fine, so you don't have to go back and forth. Yeah. My next item is this really pretty egg trinket dish. It is handmade. It does have markings on the bottom. It says 
1973. So it's really pretty. I don't know if you can get the luster. It's got like a luster shine on it. This is going to be $12. $12 number 29. 29 $12 for the Easter egg. Okay, my next item, <laughs> this makes me laugh, I'm sorry. He just makes me laugh. I um, have that same one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised, <laughs> but he's holding on to a hat that could be a votive holder, it could be a toothpick holder, it could be a air plant holder, it could be anything, but his whole face and body structure just makes me laugh. He is hand painted. It doesn't say made in Japan, but I, I'm gonna assume that it was. It certainly looks like a Japanese piece. So this guy is gonna be, I'm sorry, $10 and he's number one. $10 for number one for this cute, you're number one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. hey Sam, welcome. Number one is Sue. Yeah. My next item I have is going to be a set of four of these owl coasters. These are enamel owl coasters, a set of four. These were handcrafted by Bovano of Cheshire, Connecticut. So they are home based, but they're adorable. They're so pretty. Those are four enameled coasters. Those are gonna be $12 for number two. $12 for number two. Carol, I'm sorry if I go out of order. Sue Golombeski got number one. Okay. My next item is actually a flower frog that's still in the packaging. I love the flower frogs, but this one is still in its package, which makes great. Thank you, Christine. It makes a good thousand yeah. So here it is. Super, super heavy. If this is going to be $8 for number 32. $8 for number 32. And that's my fourth one. Oh, we're just rocking and rolling tonight. I know. Winky Owl Antique for 32. Oh. Here? Mm-mm. Winky Owl Antique for 32. Okay. Is that the flower frog? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. All righty. So I have this guy I picked up in the thrift store, in not thrift store, in the antique mall. I thought he was really cute. He does have a little bit of staining on the fabric just right here on the nose from age. Now mm -hmm. the tip on this said it is, I'm just gonna go solo for this guy. Said that it was a 1930s stuffed toy. It is very firm, but I love the patchwork. I love collecting patchwork or handmade um, stuffed animals like this. It's got the hand sewn buttons. Just making sure there's not really and I don't know if the dark spots are coming through from like maybe age from what it's stuffed with because it doesn't have an odor like a super old item. So it doesn't look to be like mold or anything like that. But this guy, and if you want to know his size, and hi, anyone I'm missing in the chat, I apologize. This guy is about eight and a half inches tall by seven and a half inches wide. He's going to be $14 and number 82. Fourteen dollars, number eighty-two for the nineteen thirties patchwork dog. Okay, we see you. The next up, <laughs> I'm gonna do a set of salt and pepper shakers. 
So, of course, with Easter around the corner, I thought these little teeny tiny Japan guys with their little, I like how their paws are up like they're hopping into trouble or they're eating their little goodies. I thought these would be great for a little vignette. They are made in Japan and they do not have their stoppers. They're that very delicate ceramic, but they are still super cute. And they are tiny. They're probably about only two inches. Yeah, like two and a quarter inches. But for the set of rabbit shakers, it's going to be $6 and number 83. $6 number 83 for the rabbit shakers. Let's see. How about a cutie? So this is a little, I call him a piano baby, cute, cute, I think that's the word I'm looking for, but just a little look at her. She's like, no, I don't want to have to do anything today. I'm going to stub my nose up at you. That's a cute one. She's that's not wearing really her cute. <laughs> <laughs> And it says Japan on the bottom. So she ran away before she fully got dressed. She yes, had she did. And she's just $6 and number 76. $6 number 76 for the snooty girl. And my last item, let's see. I thought I would give this a try. This is something different. So in one of my thrifting trips, I actually got a lot, like one of those, when you get the, the box lots of cabbage stuff. And this particular one was a little soup tureen. It is a Holland mold that does not have its lid or, I'm gonna go back to Solo for this one. It's a little bigger. It doesn't have its original lid or anything, but I thought how absolutely adorable would this be on display in a kitchen with, I believe Janice Stevens um, in my video mentioned that this would be cute with like little seedlings in it. Or I thought even with like an Easter rabbit in it for an Easter display. So before I drop everything and there's no chips and damage, it's still in really great condition. Oh, see the bomb says mom and dad 1979. So this is like an almost eighties piece. The mold, the mold is about like four inches tall by six and a quarter diameter. And just as I said that, I saw one tiny chip. You see it right there. A little light green watercolor. We'll touch that right up right there. So for the Holland mold, it is um, $8 and number 88. Because I know it'll be a little bit for shipping. So I tried to, you know, be fair for you guys. $8, number 88. And if you want it and you're not sure about the shipping, I can, you know, on this one, because I know it's a little different, I can quote you the shipping and then we can, you know, discuss it. $8, number 88. Hi, Kim. Are you getting ready for your sale? Kim at Oh My Vintage has her sale next up after us. Hi, Kim. Laura's back. And I think I need one more. Is that my last one? I have one more. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I normally organize everything in the sets of four. All right, we'll do another cutie pie. This is a baby powder shaker. So you, and it's that, that bisque, but look at the face on that. And it's got its stopper. And I just like the little like single tuft of hair. So this guy is going to be $9 number 74. $9 number 74 for the baby powder shaker. And now I think we're back to Lori. Hello again. My next item is going to be this adorable book planter. I think it's perfect for Easter time. He's got all the perfect little Easter colors of the pink and the blue and the yellow. He's a good size. And he doesn't have any chips or anything that I can tell. He is not marked. He's not marked but he's really adorable. He is going to be $12. Number nine. Number nine for the duck planter. Miss Stevens is saying it looks like one of those pool toys. like the <laughs> Yeah, it does. 
He certainly does. Okay, this is a squeaker alert. I just want to let everybody know that I have a poodle schmoodle. And yes, she squeaks. This is made, see if I can see it, from KSAM Corporation. It's in really good condition. This is going to be $10, number 31. Number 31 for this adorable poodle smooth all that squeaks. Okay. My next item up is going to be another planter. I, planters, I think, are great for the springtime. That's why I, I put a lot of them in. This planter has got a little baby fawn sitting on top of the log waiting for its mom, I bet. Now, this does have a little tiny chip on her ear, which can be very, very easily painted. That's the only chip or crack I can find. I can't find a maker's mark, but pretty sure it is from Japan. Those are both the ends. And here's the little... The little one again. This is going to be ten dollars, ten dollars for the planter, number 35. Number 35 for the little cute planter. Next up, I have a set of four uranium glass sherbet containers. Those are pretty. They're very pretty. And yes, they glow. I just got to, oh, here we go. If you can see it. I know we, we have such a problem with trying to get everybody to see the glow, but they just light up like it's unbelievable. Four of those, no chips and no cracks. All four, you get four. And that is going to be $15, number 50. Number 50 for the glow in the dark sherbet. I just noticed your adorable pin, Lori, bringing back the brooches. Oh, yeah. Yay. Mom. I know. I like it. My next thing is yet another planter. But look at how cute he is. Isn't he, this a cute dog? I just love him. He is made in Japan. There's his mark. He's a good size, too. A couple of flea bites around the rim of the planter part, but that's the only thing. He's got all of his toes. He's got his nose. He's got his ears. Everything's good on him. He is going to be $12.00. And he's going to be number four. Number four for $12. Is that it, I think? I'm not sure. One, two, three, four. One more. I just realized I did five accidentally in my last round. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have the right number left. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll just, we'll just swing it. It's okay. This is a really cute little teeny tiny bluebird that is just so full of joy. This is actually a Joseph's original. Look at how cute he is. He's so happy. <laughs> there it says Joseph original. This sweet, sweet little bird is going to be $12 and he's going to be number 34. No chips, nothing. Nothing is wrong with him. He's got all his little wings. He's got his little knot on that for there. His little beak is fine. He is just adorable. Okay, Christine, I think that's it for me. I think we may have been buffering because I just noticed the chat just jumped with all the numbers. Someone said we were buffering. Mm -hmm. Are we okay. back? I wasn't buffering. Were you? I don't I don't think so. I just wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. okay. So, 
All right, how about some birds? I have some birds. These really pretty, it's a mama and baby, kind of like blue jay style um, ceramic on their mm -hmm. their little flowers. They have a little paint where it looks like someone may have touched up the yellow on their beaks at some point. They just have a little bit, I'll try to show you the few white areas where there's been like a little paint loss over time. See it on the back. But I just thought this was a really great piece for spring or any spring vignette. So for the bluebirds, it's going to be $12 and number 70. $12 number 70 for the bluebirds. My finger stuck. And then we'll do a little bit more Easter. Now these are 1980s Easter. These are from 1983. They're Lillian Vernon designed by Alan Wood from Mount Vernon, New York, and dad, made in Hong Kong. They're just a set of vintage rabbit hot plates that I thought would be really cute for Easter time. They're still in nice condition, no staining issues. I have washed them and dried them. So they're super cute and I thought it would be great hanging in your kitchen for um, the Easter spring season. They're going to be $6 and number 81 for the set. $6 number 81. So I see Katie came in and Shelly and Pamela. Anyone else I missed that came in? I saw Miss Martha came in. I know that's the year I was born. And it's funny, like it's 1983, the year I was born and where it was made Mount Vernon is where um, my parents lived in the city when I was younger, before I was born. So that's kind of funny. Say hi to G. Hi, oh, Dee. you come in. Hi, D. Yeah, if we have time at the end, we'll go back through things that didn't sell, but we want to make sure we finish up before Kim starts at six. Right. That's one. Next up, I have this metal Easter egg that has this beautiful rose detail, and I like the little trees on it. Maybe I should hold it this way. And it does open, and it's got the cute detailing on the inside. Perfect for a little Easter vignette. This guy is smaller, and he is... Uh, about four and a half inches long, just so you get an idea of size for this. The egg is $8 and number 86. $8, number 86 for the metal egg. How many have I done now? Because I got taken away. <laughs> John just was nice and just moved all my stuff for me, but now I don't know how many I just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight items left. So how many do you have left, Lori? I'm sorry. I think I have four, but I went first. Okay. So, okay. I've done two, so I need to do two more. All right. So next up, we have the crazy-eyed rabbit. He just stole this egg, and he ran for it. It's bigger than him, but he's going to he's gonna make it work. So this would be a cute little air planter. Or you could stick some of the um, like Easter confetti in it and put a little egg in it. He isn't marked anything, but he's really cute. And I love his paint and his little face. He is going to be $6 and number 79. $6, number 79. And then for all my people that love the pretties, here it is. This is the candle holder that a lot of people were saying they liked in the live sale preview. It does have a little bit of um, staining on the inside because someone must have used red candles in it. It is on the bottom, Hungary, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Hello, Haza, Hungary. But it's just a really beautiful, it's mint green and soft pink and gold detailing. So for the flower candle holder, it's going to be $9 and number 73. $9, number 73. Okay, one, two. that should be four for me and I have six items left somehow. So I don't know what went down. <laughs> Are you cheating? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, my next item is gonna be these cute salt and pepper shakers that are ducks. They don't have any chips. They look like they have had some repairs on their beaks. Let me show you which one. This one in particular. Yeah, somebody tried to paint him. But he's still good. They have their stoppers. And they're about 
probably a couple inches tall. They're going to be $10 and they're going to be number 11. $10 for number 11. Okay. I can find. I just had them. Here it is. Oh, I see something pretty. Yeah. Amberina. Does it glow? Now it glows. It glows yellow. I don't know if you can see it. It glows all yellow. Oh, I take that back. Some of the rim on the bottom that is yellow is glowing green. <laughs> but the orange is actually glowing yellow inside. So this looks like it would be a handkerchief or, I don't know, it's not a ruffled. It's just a pedestal. It's really pretty. This is going to be... $18 for number three. $18 for number three for the Amberina dish handkerchief. Okay. My next item is this pretty egg. It's got the bunnies. A tree, some mushrooms, and another bunny. I need She's happily skipping through that field, collecting her eggs. And it also plays. Ooh. The Easter Parade. Aww. It sits on this metal base. I mean, wooden base. It's down metal. Now we're going to have to hear that because it won't go away. No. Are you going to get me in trouble for a copyright? <laughs> no, we'll just talk loud. <laughs> it's going to be number 12, $12, number 47. $12, number 47. My last item that I have is an offer up item. And it is going to, to be a blue fairy lamp. And yes, Ooh. it glows. This fairy lamp glows green. Let me see if I can. It's a really pretty green, too, but you can't hardly see it. Let me shut this light and see if I can get it. It's always so hard to get these to glow on, on camera. But does it glows so pretty. It's got the open face on this side and the open face on the other side. And it's got little tiny feet. And it's kind of a, uh, what do you call this? A weave. It's a weave pattern. Oh, like a basket weave. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is different. So this is going to be an offer up. And I'm going to start it at $15. So if you want, we're going to start it at $15. The first person who puts in $15, we can go ahead and start this. If not, we don't have to go any farther. <laughs> it's already jumped in at 20. It's just 20. It's just 20. Helen Booty at 25. And guys, if you're not clear on how this works, um, she has the starting price and then you just jump in with whatever um, you want to pay up until you reach an amount that you're just out. And when you're done, say out. So we know who's left and that'll help us close it out. Covered was 30. Helen Booty. I see Helen Booty at 35. Newton's cupboard's out. Thank you for telling us.
Helen still has it at 35. Anyone else? Oh, vintage Dix 36. Anyone else higher than 36? Vintage Diggs has it at 36. Okay, I'm going to call it Vintage Diggs going once for $36. Vintage Diggs going twice for $36. Sold to Vintage Diggs for $36. Thank you very much. And that's mine. And I somehow have six items left, so I don't know how that happened, but I started with the same amount. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. No problem. So first up, I have some Blue Mountain Pottery. So this is the Canadian Drip Glaze Pottery. It's black. That? Drip Glaze Deer. He's got his little green nose instead of a red nose. He is the redware. And it's Maine and Canada Blue Mountain Pottery. This little guy is going to be Ten dollars, and he's number seventy-seven. Ten dollars, number seventy-seven. The next up, I have a cute little cruel piece. It is a Hummel framed art piece from nineteen seventy-seven. Just a little kid out in the field picking the flowers for springtime. This he's about it. Goes past my 12 inch ruler, so it's probably like 12 and a half inches tall. So, this cruel art piece is going to be $10 and number 87. $10, number 87 for the cruel art piece. Okay. Get this out. And now you guys may have seen this one, and I have to go full screen for this guy. So, I will tell you that this is three feet by four about three by four it's 51 inches long by 40 inches mm -hmm. wide it is this lovely green granny square afghan the main green is about, and then olive green and then it goes to a mint green you it looks like watermelon colors you've got that pink and the white and then the dark green in the center so i thought this was really cute for spring or even for saint patrick's day and like I said, it's three foot by four feet approximate because it's 51 inches long by 40. So give or take a few inches. It's like a great lap blanket or just on the back of a chair. So for this Afghan granny square, it's going to be $20 and number 71. $20, and number 71 for that guy. All right. I did this one. Then I have this mold, and this is actually Le Cordon Bleu, the Franklin Mint 1986. It's a 1986 ceramic mold. It's got this lovely duck on it, and I love the, the butterflies and everything for the spring. It does have uh, the floral motif around the edges and the cute little ribbon if you want to hang it that way. Katie, that would be lovely for your jello mold, especially if they have meat or anything in it. <laughs> And it is ceramic and it is glazed on the inside. Like the edge is bisque, but the inside is glazed. So for this guy, it's $8 and number 78. $8, number 78 for the mold. Let me put that right there. I remember I did these. And then I have a little trinket box. So this is a Macaw Japan trinket box. It's got two beautiful little parakeets on it and it's the silver footed. I'm sorry. I saw someone. Thank you, Belinda. And the inside, it doesn't have lining on the top, but it has a pretty felt lining on the interior. And it's kind of like that burgundy. So this is still in really good condition. This guy's going to be $10 and number 85. $10, number 85 for the parakeet trinket box. Look at that one, so. And then my last item I had was this set of bone china votive holders. And on the bottom, it's it has a silver label that's mm -hmm. very hard to read, but it does say bone, fine bone china on there. And I can't make out the rest of it. 
But I thought these would be great in spring decor with maybe like little pink flowers in it or even with little succulents. These would be really, really cute. So for the bone china, they are $6 and number 89. $6, number 89 for the bone china. And I think that gets me caught up. Okay. You have some items you want to go back through? We still have 15 minutes. Yeah, let's let's do that. We'll show a few items that we haven't sold yet. And sure. maybe someone came in. So the first one I am going to do is my little duck planter. I think he's adorable. He's perfect for Easter, for Easter decor. Put some jelly beans in him. Do whatever you want, but he's perfect. He is going to be $12, and he's number nine. $12, number nine. My next item is going to be the Sherbert, the beautiful pattern. I'm not sure of the pattern. They look like arches and something else. But I'm not 100% sure. You get four of those with no chips, no flea bites, nothing. And they glow in the dark. I mean, in, under a black light, really stunning. And that's going to be only $15. $15 for four. And that's number 50. Four of them for no, number 50. Let's see. Oh, another item that didn't sell yet is going to be this adorable trinket owl dish made in Japan. He's really cute. You could use him as a spoon rest. You could use him as a little trinket thing by the side of your bed, throw your change in when you get home. And he's only $8 and he's going to be number 25. Eight dollars, number twenty-five, and I think I'll do one more. Lori, did you have a number nine? They're saying Maria got number nine, but I think it was originally number eighty-nine. There's maybe it was number six. It should have been number nine. What's the item? This is this is number nine. And a vintage, something like vintage 66. Number six is a strawberry, and that's Janice. Maria, can you make sure that that's what you wanted was the duck planter, please? Oh, I see what they're saying. I It looks like, yeah. Are we good? First one. Thank you, Pam, for saying you love my brooch. Right, trying to do brooches. I love brooches too. Uh, vintage '66 came in at nine, and then Maria came. Maria was after vintage. Okay, we see vintage '66 posted number nine before Maria. Here, Yep. So she gets number nine. She gets the duck planter. Sorry, Maria. We went back and double checked. Thank you. Okay. I think I'll show one more item that didn't sell. Um, hmm. <laughs> How about this, Carol? Did this, did this sell? Number 21? Yes. Down. Okay. Down. I think that's it, Christine. I have to show you okay. Something. We'll be Maria, good. Maria yep. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to show just a couple of items. First up was this 1930s stuffed handmade dog. It's um, patchwork style. Very cute. Does have a little bit of staining on the face. I think it's the material that whatever they stuffed it with is just starting to show through the yellow on it. It doesn't have any strong smells or anything like that. So this guy is $14 and number 82. $14, number 82. Well, she's the one that won it. 
And then next up, I'm going to re-show this little ceramic butterfly picture. It does have a little hairline right there on it and some crazing on the back from age. But I just thought this was a cute little spring piece. Here's the back of it. Typically, these are made in Japan when I have found them. Um, this guy is only $5 in number 72. And I'm just going to re-show two more items. First up is this baby powder shaker. So it's a cute little baby, and it's got this holes on the top. So you put your baby powder in, and then you shake it on the baby. And it's got the stopper on the bottom. It's a bisque um, ceramic finish. It is $9 in number 74. $9 number 74 for the baby powder baby. And then what is the last item I want to show? I think I'll be show these bluebirds sitting on a perch. So here you can see them. They do have some paint wear in certain spots. You can see the white, but this is the front of it. I thought these were really pretty for spring. There's a little paint wear on the top there. So this set is $12 and number 70. $12 number 70 for the spring songbirds. And that, I think, wraps us up for this round. Hmm. Thank you, Dee. I see Dee came in on the birds. I did want to say that um, next Tuesday, I'm doing one of my drop sales where it's a storage unit sale that's pre-recorded and it just goes live and the first to comment wins. And it's completely dog themed. And I think I'm going to have at least 25 dog items. So for you dog lovers, next Tuesday, 5 o'clock on my channel, I'm dropping that video. And Lori, do you have any... We're going to be on Lori's channel next month, guys. Just so right. <clears throat> That'll be a first. <laughs> so make sure on my YouTube channel, if you check the community tab, I'm posting where I am. I'm sorry, Dana. It is over. <laughs> I'm posting where I am. Um, March is busy for me. I have this sale with Lori. I have my storage unit sale next week. Then um, next week, also on Thursday, I'm joining Debbie. Our Vagabond travels on her channel. And then the last Saturday of this month, I'm on Beth's channel, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, with two other folks for a four-way live sale. So be sure to check out my community tab to know what I'm doing. And Lori and I are going to go some do some antique mall hunting this weekend. It'll be fun. Lots yeah. of fun. Always fun. We're both going to film, so hopefully. Mm -hmm. First time I'm filming. Woohoo! She can do it, guys. But thank you everyone for coming out. If you have channels, sales coming up, now's the time as we're wrapping up um, to go ahead and post that here. We'll just kind of say our goodbyes and let you guys post everything. Thank you all for coming out. Remembering to hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. Lori everybody. is also listed in the description if you want to go check her out. Yeah, I'm a little bit busy, Debbie. Just a little bit. <laughs> <clears throat> Yay. Don't, don't forget Oh My Vintage at 6 o'clock. Thrifting Adventures at 8 o'clock tonight. Check out their channels. And thank you, everyone, for coming out. Remember to email us if you are Purchase anything. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all later. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thank you again.